Hi, it's Nikki Coffin here from Scented Excellence. I just wanted to share with you a really quick tip. Um, if you're going through perhaps overwhelm or if you are struggling with dealing with lots of things that are coming in to your world at the moment, I've just got off the phone to one of my clients who's had um, a couple of months which have been really very stressful for her. And so I wanted to share with you a really simple and really, really useful way to get rid of overwhelm within between five and ten minutes. And I would have to say this is a technique I was shown years ago that was an absolute lifesaver at the time. Certainly working um, as an owner of a business, it's difficult because you don't normally have many people to speak to. So this is a really simple tool that you can use where you can clear whatever's going on for you and get clarity very quickly. So this is how it works. There's, um, there's five fundamental steps to it. So the first step is you want to get a couple of pieces of blank A4 paper. And what you want to do is brain dump absolutely everything that is going on in your head. That's either worrying you, that's stressing you out, that's making you anxious, that's not going as you wanted it to, or something maybe that you'd like to have but you just don't know how to get it. So you basically put all of these these things out of your head and down onto a piece of paper and you want to leave about th two or three inches in between each point. Now when you've done this and you almost just keep going until there's nothing left to put down you want to notice how you're feeling and so that's the second point uh, you will be feeling a level of relief and the reason why this is is when you get overwhelmed it's almost like everything bunches into this great big cloud and by just putting one extra thing into that great big cloud almost like pushes you over the edge but when you actually write down what's going on in your head you realize that it's not as big a deal as you thought it was um, but it's difficult to sort that out in your head because it's just feels like there's too much going on so that's step one then when you've brain dumped everything I want you to go to the first um, point and what you want to, to, to say to yourself is Clearly, this is what I don't want to happen. So thank you for giving me the indication, clearly this is what I don't want to happen, but what do I want to happen instead? And what this is doing is what I call a positive pivot. So problems are really brilliant because it gives you absolute clarity on what you don't want. But you, what you need to do is to, to pivot into actually what you do want because what you focus on becomes real. So and your mind can't also process a negative. So if you say don't think of a pink ele elephant doing cartwheels on the floor, just don't you think about that elephant, then you have to think about it in order to make sense of my sentence. So we, you need to be really clear with your mind and with your, um, with, yeah, with your thoughts to get clarity on what specifically you want. And it needs to be positive and it needs to be specific. So go through each of your points and you say, right, what is it that I'd like to happen instead? And you write down the positive outcome of what you want. And again, you go through that whole list until you get to the end. And when you've gone to the end, again, notice how you're feeling. You'll be probably feeling more relief. You'll be feeling um, happier, a little bit more positive about the situation. Then, so the third step is to go back up to the top and say, right, so this is what I want to happen instead. So what does some of my first steps or what is the first step that I need to take to move or to get this positive outcome and again write down that first step and work through your entire um, your entire list of things for the overwhelm and then when you've completed that again notice how you're feeling you'll be feeling much more positive now you might have a list of anything between five sometimes ten things on your list and so there's many things that you could be doing but the next step is just to pick one thing that will positively impact everything else if you took action on it. So you look at your, your list of things that you could be doing and say, right, what's the, what's the place where I need to start? What's the one thing on this list? If I took action on it, it would really positively impact everything else. And you literally just take that point and take some form of action on that within the, the next 24 hours. The sooner that you can take action, the better mainly because um, to make massive changes takes some sort of massive action. So just do something that um, 
you know, even if it's a small action linked to that step as soon as you possibly can. So there you go. That is my overwhelm tool. Um, it's really, really effective. I hope that you find it useful. And I'd love to hear um, some of your experiences with it and, um, and comments on, on how you found this. So I'm Nikki Coffin from Centred Excellence and sending this tip for you with much love. Bye bye.